Hello again, Alexander with DIY METAR. We're now on the third step where we are going to actually start assembling this map. Um, so what we're going to need for this is hot glue. Uh, so you can use, don't need a super fancy one, uh, some type of hot glue. Um, which is what we're going to use to secure the lights in here. You can also use super glue, Gorilla Glue, stuff like that. I find that the hot glue, um, just over time, works a lot better. So this is kind of difficult to film. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of show you what I'm doing. And then I'll hop off and then get it set up and then um, come back and explain everything. So I just took the LED or the rubber band off the LEDs. So we got our strand of 25. And so basically, looking at this, we have to find the most efficient path for the LEDs to go through. And so you're gonna have to play around with this a little bit. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start down here at the Sarasota and kind of weave the lights around and then have it end over here in Sebring. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the LEDs and play with it a little bit and then I will I will show it to you before I start gluing it. Okay so what I did is I went ahead and I got these first couple started you can see and so I've already kind of test fit all the way around unfortunately it wouldn't hold together um, without the glue so I had to take it back apart. Um, so now I'm going through and I'm actually doing the glue though, so you don't have to be uh, very scientific with it. Um, so each light is just going to get some glue all the way around. Make sure that it's nice and firm. And so if you get any of these little strands that come off, um, these are pretty easy to get off. All right, so now that you kind of understand that glue process, um, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna finish gluing up the rest of these LEDs. All right, so we just finished hot gluing the LEDs to the back of the map. So we also have the controller, which is plugged in. It only goes one way, so you can't mess that up. And then I usually super glue these to the bottom. So this is actually, if you flip this over, this is the bottom of the map, just so the weight's kind of towards the bottom. Um, so what we can do now is we can put it inside the frame. So I'll secure that a little bit better later. Then I'm gonna flip that around, kind of set that down so you can see it. All right. And then we're going to take it and we're going to plug it in. And remember, we have not programmed it yet, so this should just go through the test cycle. Okay, green, yellow, blue, red, and pink. Perfect. So our map is now ready to be programmed because we haven't hooked it up yet to the Wi-Fi, so it's not able to pull the live weather. So now this is the fun part. So this is showing that it's ready for the Wi-Fi pairing. So we're gonna get out our instruction booklet. We're gonna flip to the back page. And so we're only using the one through 25 section. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to flip it. We're gonna unpower it, flip it back over. And we have to record the code for each airport. So that way when we go through and program it, we have everything nice and neat. And so the number one airport, I'm gonna try to flip this over without breaking it. The number one airport is gonna be the one closest to the hub. So see how the wire is coming out of the hub? So this airport right here, which will be this one. So it looks like Sarasota is gonna be our first one. So then we'll write down, so it's gonna be, remember, 
their four digit code. So it's going to be K S R Q. And so we'll write that down on the paper. And then the next step is going to be to get it all programmed. And that way it'll start pulling the live weather from the FAA website. So, so far looking really nice.